Hello everyone. Welcome to Lamp Lecture Series featuring Foot Acupuncture, presented by Lamp Acu Wellness Foundation Inc. Today we shall talk about foot anatomy and foot acupuncture point therapy. Foot therapy stimulates points or areas on the feet to treat diseases of the whole body. Acupuncture, massage, acupressure, moxibustion, and external medical applications are commonly used in combination with this therapy. Foot acupuncture focuses on stimulating points on the feet. Also, points are chosen based on the theory of meridians and relationships with Zangfu, Qi, and blood to stimulate energy flow and balance internal organs. In ancient times, the Chinese and Egyptians used feet for therapeutic treatments. As early as the Book of Neijing, there has been highly detailed information introducing the meridians and points. There are many points on the feet used to treat whole body disease. In China's Tang Dynasty, circa 618 to 907 AD, foot massage therapy continued to develop and it eventually spread to Japan. Early in the 20th century, an American doctor, William Fitzgerald, used methods of modern medicine to do research and analysis to develop foot reflex therapy. He published a book called Zone Therapy in 1917. Foot acupuncture has become a more prevalent form of therapy since the 1970s. Chinese health practitioners have studied and researched the ancient writings. They also have recognized different theories and methods from all over the world. Through this research and experience, they have discovered many new sensitive reflex spots on the feet, which lead to the development of foot acupuncture reflex therapy. As with the hands, the feet are the starting area and the root of the energy. There is a close relationship with the Zangfu, Qi, and blood to the meridian connections on the feet. Therefore, by stimulating points on the feet, one is able to increase the energy of the body and adjust the function of the Zangfu to release and prevent disease. Modern science has recognized that the human feet have an abundance of blood vessels and nerves. Many nerve receptors function to feel the sensations of touch, pressure, and pain. The receptors send information to the central nervous system, which sends the output to the corresponding internal organs and parts of the body to improve blood circulation, metabolism, and whole body physiological functions. There are wide-ranging indications for foot acupuncture and different foot therapy ranging from chronic digestive problems to sleep and mental disorders. It is highly effective in treating acute pain conditions, external pathogen invasions, palpitations, and dizziness. Six different foot acupuncture systems exist. Foot acupuncture point therapy, new foot acupuncture therapy, the foot imaging acupuncture, or the Feng system, foot meridians and points therapy, special effect points on the feet, and foot reflexology. And we shall discuss all of them one by one. Let's now talk about foot anatomy. The four sides of the feet are the dorsal, plantar, lateral, and medial sides. Skeleton of the feet. There are 26 major bones 
and many joints in the human foot. The skeleton of the foot is divided into three parts, the tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. The tarsal bones consist of seven short bones located at the proximal region of the foot. They are arranged in proximal and distal rows. Calcaneus bone, the largest tarsal bone that projects posteriorly as the heel. The calcaneal tuberosity on the plantar surface can be felt under the skin. Talus bone. The talus bone rests on the upper surface of the calcaneus. It is the link between the foot and the leg through the ankle joint. Cuneiform bone. Located at the distal row, articulating with the metatarsal bones and navicular bone. The cuneiform consists of three bones, the medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform bones. Navicular bone, interposed between the talus and three cuneiform bones. Cuboid bone, located at the lateral side of the distal row. It articulates with the calcaneus to the fourth and fifth metatarsals. The five metatarsal bones lie distal in the foot and connect the tarsals and the phalanges. These miniature long bones have a proximal base and a distal head. From medial side to lateral side, they are named in order of the first to fifth metatarsal bones. The phalanges consist of 14 bones, two bones in the hallux, and three in each of the other toes. From proximal to distal are the proximal phalanges, middle phalanges, and distal phalanges. There are three joints in the phalanges. The metatarsal phalangeal joint, the first interphalangeal joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, and the second interphalangeal joint, distal interphalangeal joint. Soft tissue. The skin over the plantar surface is very thick compared to the skin of the dorsal surface. The skin around the ankle area is less tight. The plantar fascia is composed of densely compacted fibers that are oriented mainly longitudinally. The center part is the strongest and thickest, and it narrows posteriorly. It becomes broader and thinner as it diverges toward the metatarsal heads. Over the ball of the foot, additional sagittal septa connect the plantar fascia that covers the interosseous muscles. Tunnels are created for tendons and nerves to transmit. Cushions of connective tissue sprouting and fat pads protect the tendon, muscles, and nerves from compression. The deep fascia on the dorsum of the foot is a thin layer that covers the dorsal extensor tendons. The muscles on the plantar area of the foot have four layers. The superficial layer consists of the flexor digitorum brevis centrally, the abductor hallucis medially, and the abductor digitiminimi laterally. 
The second layer contains the tendon of the flexor digitorum longus, the quadratus plantae, four lumbrical muscles, and the tendon of the flexor hallucis longus. The third layer consists of three muscles, the flexor hallucis brevis, the adductor hallucis, and the flexor digiti minimi brevis. The fourth layer consists of three plantar and four dorsal interosseous muscles. The muscles on the dorsum of the foot are tendons of the long digital extensors, the extensor digitorum brevis, and the extensor hallucis brevis. The extensor digitorum longus goes to the second, third, and fourth toes, joined by corresponding tendons of the extensor digitorum brevis. The extensor hallucis brevis goes to the proximal phalanx of the big toe. Blood vessel supply. The arterial supply to the skin of the feet is rich. It is derived from branches of the three major arteries that supply blood to the foot. Cutaneous venous drainage is via dorsal and plantar venous arches. The fourth and fifth lumbar spinal nerve roots and the first sacral spinal nerve roots supply sensation to the foot. The blood flow of the plantar surface of the foot comes from the posterior tibial artery. The artery is divided into the following branches. The lateral plantar artery forms the plantar arch. As the arch crosses the foot, it branches into four plantar metatarsal arteries and then goes to the proper plantar digital arteries. The medial plantar artery further divides into a superficial branch and a deep branch. The superficial branch supplies blood to the surface of the medial side of the foot and big toe before terminating at the proper digital arteries. The deep branch passes into the intrinsic muscle of the big toe. The dorsal side blood supply comes from the anterior tibial artery, which ends by dividing into two branches. The large branch is the deep plantar artery, which goes into the sole of the foot. The smaller branch is the arcuate artery, which runs transversely across the dorsum. It supplies most of the dorsal metatarsal arteries that end as tiny dorsal digital arteries. Nerves. The dorsal digital nerves which terminate from both superficial and deep fibular nerves, provide sensation to the dorsal side of the foot. The deep nerve also has muscular and articular branches. The medial and lateral plantar nerves correspond in the plantar side of the foot. They are terminal branches of the tibial nerve and divide into plantar digital nerves. Foot acupuncture system. The foot acupuncture point therapy was developed in the 1960s in China. It is based on the meridian theory and the relationship of the foot with the Zhangfu, Qi, blood, and yin and yang. According to the root and branch theory, the foot is the root where the meridian energy starts and is distributed. There are many reflex points which contain information of the human body and organs. Stimulation to those reflex points on the foot can treat and adjust this area or other associated organ diseases. 
The Meridian Theory and the Bio-Holographic Theory have provided information for the foot acupuncture system. After many years of clinical research and practice, foot acupuncture has been extensively developed and refined. The foot can be viewed as a person lying flat with the plantar surface being the front of the body. The head is located at the heel and the buttocks towards the toes. The five zang and six foot organs are distributed around the metatarsal bones. Foot acupuncture point therapy uses proportional measurement and anatomic landmarks in the location of points. The width and length of the foot are divided into equal units as a standard for proportional measurement. Draw a line from the midpoint of the heel to the midpoint between the second and third toes. This line is divided into 10 equal parts. The area from the malleolus to the bottom of the heel is divided into three equal parts on both the medial and lateral sides of the foot. The widest area of the bottom of the foot is divided into five equal parts, each of which runs from between the toes downward to the heel. Plantar aspect of the foot, the head, location on the plantar surface, one unit distal from the red and dark skin of the heel. Indications of the head point, headache and toothache. The nose point, location, one unit distal to the head point, or two units from the red and dark skin of the heel. Indications of the nose point, acute and chronic sinusitis. The eye point, location, 0 0.6 unit lateral to the nose point. So this will be two units from the heel and 0 0.6 unit from the midline. Indications of the eye point, acute and chronic eye problems. The ear point, location, 0 0.6 unit lateral to the eye point or two units from the heel and 1.2 units from the midline. Indications of the ear point, deafness and tinnitus. The mouth point, location, one unit distal to the nose point or three units from the heel on the midline. Indications of the mouth point, toothache, and tonsillitis. The throat point. Location. 0 0.6 unit distal to the mouth point or 3.6 units from the heel. Indications of the throat point. Fever, sore throat, tonsillitis, and upper respiratory infections. The regeneration point, location, 0 0.6 unit distal to the throat point or 4.2 units from the heel. Indications of the regeneration point, tumor on the brain or spinal cord and painful conditions such as P syndrome associated with the muscles, tendons, and bones. The heart point, location, 0 0.5 unit distal to the regeneration point or 4.7 units from the heel. Indications of the heart point, high blood pressure, heart failure, tonsillitis, tongue ulcers, 
insomnia, and excessive dreaming. The long point. Location, 0.4 unit distal to the regeneration point and 1 unit medial and lateral to the midline. 4.6 units from the heel and 1 unit medial and lateral to the midline. Indications of the long point. Cough, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Anmian. Anmian in acupressure and acupuncture are traditional points for treating insomnia. Some practitioners also use these points to reduce anxiety, vertigo, and headaches. If you remember, the, the Anmian points are on either side of the neck. To find them, place a finger behind each earlobe and move the fingers just behind the bony protrusion. So location on the foot, 0 0.6 unit distal to the heart point, 5.3 units from the heel. Indications of anmian, psychasthenia, schizophrenia, insomnia, hysteria, and neurasthenia. Stomach point. Location, 0 0.8 unit distal to the anmian point, 6.1 units from the heel. Indications of the stomach point. Stomach pain, vomiting, and indigestion. Liver point. Location. 1.2 units medial to the stomach point, 6.1 units from the heel, and 1.2 units medial to the midline. Indications of the liver point. Chronic hepatitis, cholecystitis, eye problems, and intercostal nerve pain. Spleen point. Location. 1.2 units lateral to the stomach point, 6.1 units from the heel, and 1.2 units lateral to the midline. Indications. Indigestion, urinary retention, and blood diseases. Gallbladder point. Location. 0 0.3 unit proximal to the liver point, or 5.8 units from the heel, and 1.2 units to the midline. Indications of the gallbladder point. Cholecystitis and hypochondriac area pain. Small intestine point. Location, 0 0.3 unit distal to the stomach point and one unit medial and lateral to the midline. 6.4 units from the heel and one unit lateral to the midline. Indications of the small intestine point, abdominal regurgitation, borborygmus, and abdominal pain. Chen Yin Chu, location, 0 0.4 unit distal to the kidney one point, Yong Chen, 7.4 units from the heel on the midline. Indications of this point, high blood pressure, seizures, schizophrenia, and coma due to high fever. Ho Yin Chu. Location, 0 0.6 unit proximal to the kidney one point, Yong Chan. 6.4 units from the heel on the midline. Indications, high blood pressure, seizures, schizophrenia, and coma due to high fever. Kidney 1, Yong Chuan. 
location on the midline and at the junction between the anterior one-third and posterior two-thirds of the sole of the foot. This is seven units from the heel. Indications of kidney one, high blood pressure, vertex pain, infant convulsions, shock, and seizure. Kidney point. Location. One unit medial and lateral to the kidney one point, or Yong Chuan. Seven units from the heel and one unit medial and lateral from the kidney one point. Indications of the kidney point. High blood pressure, schizophrenia, acute low back pain, and urinary retention. Cancer one point. Location one unit distal to the liver point, 7.1 units from the heel, and 1.2 units medial to the midline. Indications of the cancer one point stomach, cardiac orifice, and lower esophageal tumors. Large intestine. Location. The medial part is 0.2 unit proximal to Ho in Ju and 1.2 units medial to the midline. 6.2 units from the heel and 1.2 units medial to the midline. Lateral part. 0.2 unit proximal to Ho in Ju and 2 units lateral to the midline. 6.2 units from the heel and 2 units lateral to the midline. Indications of the large intestine point, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and irritable bowel syndrome. Spleen 4. Kung Sun Location in the depression, distal and inferior to the base of the first metatarsal bone at the junction of the red and white skin. Indications of spleen 4, Kung Sun, abdominal pain, vomiting, and bloating. Bladder point. Location, one unit distal to the kidney one point, Yong Chuan. Eight units from the heel on the midline. Indications of the bladder point, urinary retention and urinary incontinence. Reproductive organs point, location, 0 0.3 unit distal to the bladder point or 8.3 units from the heel on the midline. Indications of the reproductive organs point. Irregular menses, abnormal leukorrhea, inflammation of the testes, urinary retention, and incontinence. The cancer to point. Location. 0 0.1 unit distal to the bladder point and 2 units medial to the midline or 8.1 units from the heel on the midline and 2 units medial to the midline. Indications of cancer 2 point. Internal organ tumors below the umbilicus. Ne Lin Chi. Location opposite gallbladder 41, Ju Lin Chi on the plantar surface of the foot. Indications migraine headache, hypochondriac area pain, eye problems, tinnitus, and fever.
Nei Xiaoxi Location Opposite Gallbladder 43 Xiaoxi On the plantar surface of the foot Indications of Nei Xiaoxi Migraine headache Hypochondriac area pain Eye problems Tinnitus And fever Ne Xian Ku Location Opposite Stomach 43 Xian Ku On the plantar surface of the foot Indications of Ne Xian Ku Acute stomach pain Indigestion And schizophrenia The anus Point Location 0.6 unit distal to ne xiangku indications of the anus point constipation and diarrhea ne tai chung location opposite liver 3 tai chung on the bottom of the foot indications of ne tai chung inflammation of the testes herniation abnormal uterine bleeding irregular menses dysmenorrhea hepatitis eye problems and high blood pressure li ne ting location Opposite stomach 44, ne ting at the bottom of the foot. Indication of li ne ting, child convulsions. Tu in shui. Location at the midpoint of the transverse crease of the distal interphalangeal joints of the second toe on the plantar surface of the foot indications of tu yin shui herniation irregular menses and difficult labor mu chi li han wen location at the midpoint of the transverse crease of the great toe at the metatarsophalangeal joint on the plantar surface indications inflammation of the testes and herniation pain cancer 3 point location 0 0.6 unit distal to the medial side of the lung point or 5.2 units from the heel on the midline and 1 unit medial to the midline indications of cancer 3 point upper esophageal lung neck throat and nose tumors the asthma point location at the center of the tip of each toe on the plantar surface indications numbness of the feet renal syndrome and asthma shu shin shui location at the center of the plantar surface of the foot on the midline five units from the heel on the midline indications psychasthenia and schizophrenia then we go to dorsal aspect of the foot the headache point location at the border of the light and dark skin on the medial aspect of the proximal interphalangeal joint of the second third and fourth toes indication 
headaches. Tonsil one point. Location. On the medial side of the extensor hallucis longus tendon at the metatarsophalangeal joint. Indications of tonsil one point, acute tonsillitis, eczema, and skin rash. Tonsil 2 point. Location. At the midpoint between liver 2, Xing Jian, and liver 3, Tai Chung. Indications of tonsil 2, acute tonsillitis and parotitis. Low back pain point. Location. In the depression anterior to the base of the first metatarsal bone. Indications of the low back pain point, acute low back injury, back spasm, and back pain. Sciatica point. Location at the midpoint between gallbladder 41, Chu Lin Chi and gallbladder 42. T. Hu Hoi. Indication. Sciatic nerve pain. Stiff neck point. Location. Two units proximal to the midpoint of the line between the third and fourth metatarsal bones. Indication. Whiplash. Gastrointestinal point. Location. Three units proximal to the midpoint of the line between the second and third metatarsal bones. Indications. Acute and chronic gastroenteritis and stomach and duodenal ulcers. Heart pain point. Location, 2.5 units inferior to stomach 41. Jie Shi, indications of the heart pain point, chest pain, palpitations, asthma, and common colds. Lumbar and leg, location, 0 0.5 unit inferior to Stomach 41, Chia Shi, in the depression on either side of the tendons of the extensor digitorum longus and hallucis longus muscles. Indications of lumbar and leg, lumbar and leg pain, and spasm of the lower leg. Now let's go to the medial aspect of the foot vertigo point location in the depression above the tubercle of the navicular bone indications vertigo headache high blood pressure and acute tonsillitis dysmenorrhea one location two units directly below the medial malleolus, indications, uterine bleeding, irregular menses, and dysmenorrhea. Dysmenorrhea 2 point, location in the depression posterior and inferior to the tubercle of the navicular bone, indications, dysmenorrhea, uterine bleeding, and ovarian cysts. Seizures point. Location. The midpoint between spleen 3, Tai Pai, and spleen 4. Kung Sun. Indications of seizures point. Seizures, hysteria, and psychasthenia. And finally, the lateral aspect of the foot, 
the buttocks point. Location located one unit directly above urinary bladder 60, Kun Lun on the lateral aspect of the ankle, four units above the base of the heel. Indications of the buttocks point, sciatic nerve pain, headache, and abdominal pain. Thank you so much for your attention and see you in our next videos.